Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called is basically Ryan apologizing for calling black people the N words with the hard ER saying uh, F George Floyd. He would dig him up, bring him back to life, and kill him again. Saying F Muslims, F Palestinians, and the list goes on. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Former stuff. I want to apologize um, to the black community. Uh, apologize to the Muslim community. I don't, I don't think you guys should take his apology. Don't accept his apology. Me, I'm, I'm as a Muslim, I'm not accepting his apology. And I would say other Muslims don't accept his apology either. Uh, basically, for you know the the. You know, just, to, you know, my language and my vocabulary, obviously I have a big responsibility as a famous athlete. And um, I was very under the influence and... Does not matter. It does not matter. You were under the influence, correct. But let's, let's, let's try, let's put this in another scenario. Let's say you were under the influence while, while driving a car, operating a vehicle. And you crash and kill someone. Are you going to tell the police? Are you going to tell the judge? Oh, sorry, I was under the influence. I didn't mean to do that. No. No, 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 no. You're going to jail. You are going to jail. No, you, you can't just apologize. Like, oh, I'm just going to apologize and you should forgive me. Mm -mm. That's, not how it, that's not how it works. So... Nah, keep that apology to yourself. Like, stand on, on what you were saying. Like, I, I keep saying this. When somebody is drunk and they're saying crazy stuff, I absolutely believe that that's how they feel when they're sober. And now they're drunk. They have a little liquid courage in their system. So now they conjure up the, the courage to say all these things. Nah, bro. Just, just, just stand on what you said. Obviously, to, I'm going through a lot is what I say, but I have no excuse. I'm just saying, like, um, I'm sorry to all my black friends and families that are hurt and my Muslim families that are hurt and everybody that's, you know, affected by my words. I didn't mean no disrespect, and uh, I feel really bad. I just, you know, I hit the switch, and it wasn't good, and some of my homies were hyping me up, you know, telling me, like, you know. It's yes, if you listen to the, to the, space, to the space chat, the, the group chat that he was on on, on, on Twitter or X, I'm telling you, the people that were hyping him up it was so obvious that they wanted him to crash and burn so they can laugh at him. They were hyping him up the whole time. I literally sat here and I watched it and I was like, these people don't like Ryan. They don't want to see him do well. He's obviously a successful boxer, rich, famous. And they want him to, to, to burn, crash and burn. Lose all the sponsorships, get banned. He's already in trouble with the boxing committee for uh, using uh, banned, uh, what you call it, substances. So like, I, di I didn't understand. Like They kept hyping him up over and over and over again. So I hope, I hope he understands now that the, the, those people are not really his friends. Like, say that word, say that word, bro. You got the pass, Woody Woo, and you know, kind of just influencing me to like speak on black and black crime. And so, who gave you the pass? Who gave you the pass to say fuck Muslims? Or you just said that because that's how you feel? What? what's going on in the community and they kind of look 
I I won't say look. I I ain't gonna make no excuse. I'm not gonna say they forced. Me. I ain't gonna say none of that. I'm just saying like they were they were they were pushing it too, and I'm not even trying to cap like you know. I'm not trying to even like be no weird shit. Like I'm sorry, basically. But yeah, they use you as a dummy. Oh my god, Ryan, you fell for the. But um, everybody knows I'm going through a hard time, and that I still that's no excuse, and that's why I'm going to rehab and gain my shit. Okay, so if you know it's not an excuse, stop bringing that shit up. You know it's not an excuse. Don't bring that shit up. You going through a lot doesn't matter because everybody's going through a lot. I'm going through a lot. You don't find me out here calling black people n words and saying fuck these people and these people and these people. So what? People go through shit every day on a daily basis. It, you know, handled and, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going through a lot, you know, a divorce, things happening to me all the time, matrix attacks all the time. And you guys may not believe it, but it's so fucking annoying that you got no fucking clue. Like you got, I wake up and I'm already like under some shit and it's just like, bro, I'm over it, bro. I do stand on saying that though. I don't like pedophiles though. That that I'm like nobody's gonna change my mind. You're not gonna about to press me to make me think pedophiles are cool, bro. And that's point blank period, bro. I don't care. You I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I don't care if you're X, Y, and Z in any religion and in any including Christians, bro. If you're a pedophile, you're weird to me. I'm calling everybody out, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That's weird, bro. That's weird. That's weird. You're never gonna change my mind. That's weird, bro. And Sneeko's the one that got me pissed off because he's the one that came at uh, Christianity and I'm saying that nobody defends Christians. We disrespect them and nothing happens. The Holy Spirit is woody woo. Yeah, you guys disrespect Christianity all the time. And nobody defends Christianity. That's why he was telling you, he was like, if you're trying to represent Christianity, stop saying all these things because you're making Christianity look bad. How, how is that a bad thing? He's actually telling you to do something for your religion. He's telling you to stop making yourself look like a dumbass while representing Christianity. How is that a bad thing? I don't understand. Bro, that's not cool, bro. Like, you can't... You gotta be accountable for every action of yours. I know Muslims that would never dis disrespect Christianity like that ever. Bro, I know, like... That's just not right, bro. So he made me hit the switch. Like, I was mad. I was mad at Sneeko, and I feel bad for saying my stupid shit. But, bro, what, like, what is this problem, bro? I've always been nice. Bro, I was just in Dubai, and I was telling everybody, inshallah, I was friends with all my Muslim people. Dude, it was sick, dude. I was. Come on. Let's, 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 let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not act like you were friends with them because you liked them. And you were friends with them because they were paying you well. You got some of that Arab money and you had to put a front like every other athlete that goes to Dubai, goes to Saudi Arabia, goes to uh, Riyadh, Doha, goes to all these Middle Eastern places is because they're getting paid. And we know behind closed doors, you're saying you're saying, fuck these people like a trust, like you're not fooling anyone. Behind closed doors, you're saying, oh, fuck these people, fuck these turban heads, fuck these people, fuck these sand n-words. Like, we know this. You know you say this behind closed doors. So don't even act like you're, you're putting up a front so you can get paid and you can leave. And then once you leave, behind closed doors, you're saying the craziest shit. And yesterday was, or not yesterday, or when you, were, when you went on the rant, about black people and Muslims, that was just a little glimpse of how you truly feel. So don't act like this is all, like it just happened out, like out of nowhere. I was at a fucking soccer game and Muslim kids were coming up to me, pulling on my shirt and I didn't care, bro. I, nothing but- Pulling on my shirt, kids. Muslim kids pulling on my shirt, like, like what? Love, bro. Like Christian kids don't pull on nobody's shirt. But like, why does everybody get to talk shit about me? Like, why do, why do I, why do 
I gotta take everything. Tim Bradley fucking called me a fucking zoo animal live on ESPN. One of the biggest networks in the world. Bro, he called me a fucking zoo animal, bro. That's not cool. Like, where's my fucking justice, bro? Where's his? Why, why is he not getting canceled? Bro, that's not cool. You can't just... Because you probably went on one of your rants and said some crazy shit. And he said you're acting like an animal. <laughs> Sounds like a justifiable... Um... Uh, what you call it? Call people zoo animals, bro. Live on ESPN in front of the world, bro. That's not cool. Why does nobody care about my heart, bro? Like, why don't y'all care about who, what the fuck people say to me, bro? Call me a beaner and this, that, woody woo. I don't give a f No Muslim calls you a beaner. I'm, I'm still, like, I have yet to hear anybody say, oh, Brian Garcia is a beaner. Or he's blah, 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 other like other slurs, like Mexican slurs. I have yet to hear that. But I've heard you say the other words to everybody else. Fuck, bro. I'm cool as fuck with all my homies, bro. All my black homies, all my Muslim people, everybody, bro, Jewish, fuck everybody, bro. I'm cool with everybody, but like, you're not about to be racist, bro. That's this way, but here we are, so let's go. But your friends will be. I'm literally taking acknowledgement for what I did. A lot of things are happening in my life, man. Um, I Anyways, he just keeps repeating himself over and over again. He keeps saying it's not an excuse, but he's right after that. He's bringing up an excuse. Oh, I'm going through a lot of shit in my life. I'm going through a divorce. The Matrix is behind me. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody gives a fuck, to be honest, Ryan. If I was... I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't, I would, the apology is bullshit because he's still dancing around and he's saying because of this and because of that and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. You said what you said. Stand on that. I would suggest all the Muslims, if you're a Muslim, you're watching this video. Don't support this freaking clown. You're a black person and after hearing what he said about black people and calling them the N-words and ERs and bring Floyd back and kill him again. I understand that you say, okay, he had fentanyl in his system and he died because he was on drugs. Like, why do you have to go the extra mile and say, oh, I would bring him back. He's an N-word, hard ER. I would dig him up again, bring him back to life and kill him again. Why? Why do that? Why do that? I don't understand that. So yeah, don't, don't accept his apology and just keep it moving. And I think all his sponsors are gone. I think he's going to be banned or expelled from, from fighting. He's going to be stripped from... Did he, have, did he have any belts? I don't think he had any belts. But whatever he has, he's going to get stripped and he had already got caught for using PEDs. So it's not looking too good for Ryan. And um, yeah. I hope he recovers and goes to therapy and does whatever he has to do. Or what it, does whatever he has to do to get back, to get his mind back on the correct path. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, will see you guys again in the next video.